Welcome back guys, this is going to be the third part of our video tutorial series that we are working on. We are writing this test ribbon development with the Mocha the JavaScript test framework. Okay, so if you have been following from the previous video tutorial, we wrote some unit tests for our card update. So next thing we are going to do, remember like we have our data because, um, so let me show you what I, when I, when I'm referring to this data right here. So basically, this is the player's card of hand here. We have a two players. Each of them can get like five cards here. And then basically, the very first thing we're going to do, as you know, we're going to do, uh, do our test driven development in incremental order. So basically, if this is a text file. We're going to read our text file. And then basically, we're going to write unit tests for reading this. Should be pretty simple. So let's start with the test because it's a test driven development. So I'm going to write. I'm going to give this name as a um, card file reader or something like that. Okay. Um, and of course, we're going to follow our convention. Now, all our testing will have a suffix of test. So make it as a card reader test file here. And all this requires are okay. And then we're going to require this card file reader. This is our actual uh, JavaScript file, that actual uh, worker basically reads the data. Okay. And just describe here a module. Well, actually, let me, I don't need it. I'm going to get rid of this here. Okay. Let's write from the scratch. Um, input files should be read correctly in convert input files should be read as string okay something like that Let's uh, describe what we're trying to test. Very first thing we can do, um, we want to make sure the input, the read input files should have should not be null. That's our uh, test. Okay, very first test. Uh, one more thing I have to tell you. Um, if you have been programming in Node.js for a long time, you know, whenever we need data, most of the time we get data from, because unlike other programming languages, like C Sharp or whatever, instead of we return the data to the caller here, basically the, the caller basically provides the callback function. Most of our data exchange basically occurs through the callback function, okay? So uh, to occur, in this case of, uh, also, because we'll be, re we'll be reading our data asynchronously, Meaning we have we'll have our callback function. We need to provide a callback function to our method that reads the data. So to do a unit test for that with, with the Mocha, we're going to pass to our callback function. We're going to pass this done method. That the framework automatically takes care of that one. So inside here, we're going to write our assertion. Okay, let's give this guy card file reader as a reference as a card file reader. And in here, very first thing we can do. Um, have a reference to that of call it file reader. So new card file reader. Let's get an instance of this guy here. Once that reference basically we can say now um, file reader it will have a method which doesn't exist because our, we are writing the unit test first that method basically takes a callback function, let's call it a data, okay? Now inside of it, right here, very first thing, because if we have to test, when we do a testing for our um, callback function in Mocha, this done method provided by the framework, that's the very first thing 
well, it's going to be the last thing, but this has to be invoked inside our um, where we are passing this callback function. That's the first thing we're going to do. And in here now, we can write our some expectation here. Expect the data that data is not null. Okay, that's really that's very good. Basically, we can say, all right, you know, make sure the data is not null means at least you know our our API or, or the JavaScript code that we are writing is working correctly, meaning our read method is working correctly, right? Let's go ahead and run this. Of course, as you might have guessed right now, because we don't have none of these existing right now, we should have failure, which is okay. Um, so we're going to say a mocha, and we're going to call it test, and give a name of the file, that our test file name, called card file reader test. This is good. That's it. That's what we want to see. Very first error we are getting. Hey, we don't have this file. The, we, we, we searched in your project the file called card file reader. I couldn't find it. That's good. That's our starting point, right? This is our file here, which doesn't exist. Let's go ahead and add a new file. Close this. And this is where our objects are card and take all those things. Along with here, I'm going to write. Uh, here and this is go ahead and rename this guy as a card file reader object. Okay, this is the this is the code related to card, so I'm gonna get rid of this one, everything. So let's I'm gonna go ahead and run this clear and run our code. You need this again. Okay. We have a failing test right now. Of course, it, it, at this time, we have just a file. Our file is empty because we don't have JavaScript objects. So it's saying, hey, the card file reader is not a function. Of course, it is not. All right. This very first thing we can do, um, we need a file stream because remember, like, we, are, we need to use us native na node um, file IO API called FS. So we're going to require that. And we are following the pattern for everything, so we, I'm going to use this card file reader as an object. Just doesn't take any parameter, and then into it using the prototype, we define a read method here. Function, as you guess, it will take the callback function. I mean the the parameter as data. Not as data, I mean to say a callback function the user gonna call this our callback and reading the file should be pretty easy. So we have file stream has a mythical read file. And this read file takes some parameter. For your first parameter is the location of the file from where we are reading. In this case it's app data and the name of the file is cards and it's a text file txt. And the next parameter is you can specify the encoding in the UTF-8 and just the callback function here. Remember, in a Node.js, whether you're writing for anything, whether data access or any call to the API, the first parameter is error to handle making sure there is no er error. And the second parameter is let's call the data here. All right, so how are we going to return once that is provided? I'm going to define variable called um, records here. This guy data can be string array, right? It's a string that is going to read those data, the input file. And I'm going to call a split method of an array to split that into carriage return and end of the line. And the very last thing we have to do, um, we need to invoke the callback function provided to us, right? So is our callback function. We're going to give the input parameter as a record to that callback function. 
that should be all that is all the implementation to it let's go ahead and of course you know right the good thing about this we have a unit is to make sure our implementation is correct and everything okay let's go ahead and run this okay so fail card file is not a uh, okay <laughs> Of course, you know, we are writing node module. We need to, very first thing we have to do, we have to export this. Without exporting, it, it has no idea. It's, it's, we are still getting the same error that we got before. So we're going to say export um, module, expose, give it name. Okay. All right, this time, yes. Okay, that's very basic. It, 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 at least, you know, our test is passing right now. So let's look it into our unit test here. This first thing it is, okay, uh, this this is good. The, this is not really a complete test. We want to make sure the first data is read correctly, that we also want to do some boundary. Whenever you are writing the unit test, we always want to make sure the, the, the call boundary condition of the, of the feature is all, always covered. So let's describe a couple of things we expect to have here. Um, I'm going to do a couple of assertions here. The input file should contain, should contain should read all should read first line of record correctly. Should should data correctly okay so what I'm trying to verify basically is like we have this input file right here I want to make sure this very first input of the array is that that line of code that line of data and the last one is, is that line even before that even before that I will write one more unit test here Let's do one more. That one just verified it, the data is not null. The read input file contains all should contain all the all thousand records. Okay, that test would be very very important because we want to make sure it's a reading everything, right? Because it's not skipping any of those. So to do this unit test, um, of course, you know, like here I have to create the instance of this guy and every eat method. This is not really ideal approach because the Mocha provides a couple of, couple of hook called uh, before, 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 like, like whenever you do a lot of unit testing, they provide this feature called teardown and setup and all those kind of things. They have the same idea. They provide a couple of hook. I can, I could have used this one. But um, since I'm not using that yet, so I'm going to just copy this code here. However, I'm not going to test this one. It's not null. It is already already covered by my previous test. So I'm going to say is my file reader. I mean to say the expect. data the length equals to 1000 okay let's make sure this unit is passes so this if this test pass 
then we know it's a reading basically most of our uh, data. Okay, so we have two unit tests here. And of course, in the two, basically we have two total four tests here. And two of them are passing because we have the implementation provided for them and two of them right here. We don't have any implementation, that's why it's failing. Out of four, two of them are failing. Okay, let's go ahead and write those. Let's go ahead and save everything. What we what we would like to test here is the first item. That's the first item from our text file. Um, should be. the first record from the input file okay that and then I'm gonna copy this one here and this is gonna be the last data length minus one that as we know, array the JavaScript array is like you know a uh, length n minus one base index, so this is going to be the last index. So I'm, I'm I'm my assertion is I don't know what's the first value and second value. We'll look at into that later, but I'm saying the both first value and second value should be empty string. Of course, that my assertion should fail. That's not correct. Okay, as you can see right here, it's a failing. So it is telling, hey, the first item in this input file is not empty string. This is the guy in your first, as a first data. Let's go ahead and fix that one. So this is what it was expecting. Let's go ahead and run this test. We should have just one failing test now, the last one. Okay. We have three, as you can see, three are correct, are passing correctly. Last one is failing. Let's go ahead and fix that one too. Go ahead and save this. Okay, this this kind of assures you, you know, that the, our input file is read correctly by our, our code, and all the data is in the right place. Now, so even though this is a very trivial module that we tested, just reading the input file, but the, the the idea I would like to give you to guys is that the concept how we drive little by little, you know, basically we also cover our boundary condition. We make sure. It read all the records and everything. Okay, in the next time, we, we're starting from next time. So basically what we're going to write is, is in a, well, in next video tutorial, we basically, um, this data, we're going to convert this data into a card object and basically divide the card into two players, okay? All right, guys, until that time, see you, see you next time. Thank you for watching the videos and supporting me.